Lesson 9, we are going to be adding decimals, and there are three tricks to adding decimals that make it much easier. First thing is, this is a good time to turn your paper sideways. It's going to help you keep things lined up, and with decimals, that's important. So, what, the second trick is that you want to keep your decimals in a line. Which means, if your problem is written across, such as 24 and 45 hundredths plus 6 and 35 hundredths, I'm going to want to write that vertically. And that's going to help me line those up. Yes, you could do it like this, but it's just easier if you line them up where they're going down. So 24 and 45 hundredths and 6 and 35 hundredths. Okay, and I want to keep my decimals lined up. This is going to help me make sure I have my decimal in the correct place in the answer. So since I have this turned sideways, the lines on my paper also help me make sure that I am keeping all of the tenths in the same row, all of the hundredths in the same row, and so on. So now I'm just going to add like I normally do. 5 plus 5 is 10. I cannot have 10 here, so I'm going to have to put the 0 and add 1 into the tenths place. So 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. My decimal just goes right down in a line. 4 plus 6 is 10. 1 plus 2 is 3. And there I go, I have my answer. 30 and 8 tenths, or 30 and 80 hundredths. Whichever way you want to say it is fine. Let's try another one. Let's try 21 and 3 tenths and 75 and 76 hundredths. Oop. See? I almost didn't put the decimal in the right place and that would have messed everything up and I would not have come out with the correct answer. 75 and 76 hundredths. Just like if I were adding without decimals, if I don't have something in this place right here, there's an invisible zero. If it helps you to write in that invisible zero, do that. Okay, zero plus six is six. 3 plus 7 is 10, just like with the others, if I have too much for that place value, part of it has to carry over to the next place. So I had 10, there's my 10 right there. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 5 is 7, 2 plus 7 is 9, my decimal comes straight down and I have my answer right there. Now the third step I'm going to show you is I want you to go ahead and get in the habit of it now because it will help you come subtraction time. So let's say that I have 124 and 902 thousandths plus 6 and 7 tenths. So again, anywhere that does not have a number has an invisible zero. If you want to write the zero there, you can certainly do that. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 0 plus 0 is 0. And my tip that I'm showing you here is that if you start from the top and go down, 
then when it comes subtraction time, that's really going to help you as well. And I'll show you more about that when we get to subtraction. 9 plus 7 is 16. So 16. 1 plus 4 is 5. Plus 6 more is 11. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 0 is 1. And then I bring my decimal down, and there is my answer, 131, 602 thousandths. Hope this helps.